Let's now create virtual private server on Amazon EC2. In order to do this, please go to the avsamazon.com and if you don't have an account, please create account and then sign in to the console. After signing into the console, please go to services and then compute and EC2. In my dashboard, I already have one instance, you may not have it. So please create new instance, just click launch instance. And here is a list of all possible server setup options. For this course, we will use free tier. Scroll down and find Ubuntu server, here it is. And click select. Here you should choose microtype and if you are a new user, you will get free access to the server during one year. So select this one and click review and launch. You will get one virtual processor and one gigabyte of RAM. So click launch. Then you will be asked to create RSA key pair that will be used to connect to your server via SSH. I have already this key pair and I can choose it from the drop down list. Let's create new key pair. I will create new key pair with the name EC2 and click download key pair. So it was downloaded. And let's finally click launch instances. You will see launch status and you will be able to click on your instance. Let's click on it. And here it is. Now status is initializing. Let's wait until server will become ready for connection. Finally, you will see that your instance is running and status checks were passed. Let's now connect to this server. Click on the connect button. And here are instructions on how to connect to your server. First of all, you need to use SSH client. If you are using Mac, you have embedded SSH client. If you are on Windows, you can use for example PuTTY. Then you need to locate your private key file that you have downloaded before. I have moved this file to the desktop and let me open terminal and change directory to the desktop. So now I am at the desktop. Then you should change permissions to this private key file. Copy this command and paste in the terminal. Here is the public DNS name of your server and you can use this command below to connect to your server. Please note that this command uses your private key, in my case it is called ec2.pem. So copy this command and go back to terminal and paste it. During connection you will be asked to trust fingerprint of the server. Just type yes and press enter. And finally I was connected to the server. Ok, let's summarize. In this lesson we have created Amazon EC2 server, installed Ubuntu on it and connected to it via SSH. In the next section we will talk how to install MongoDB on the server. So, see you shortly.